unboxing and setting up your in-hand IR305 router and failover. In this video, we'll unbox the in-hand IR305 router and show you how to do the initial setup. We'll also show you how to set up link backup failover. When you first open the box, here's what you should see. The in-hand IR305 router, 4G and Wi-Fi antennas, a power cable, an ethernet cable, an accessory kit that includes mounting tools, screws, and a SIM pin. Initial setup. The first step to setting up your router is making sure the SIM card is in place. If your device isn't already provisioned, use the SIM pin to open the SIM slot. Place your SIM securely in the tray and then insert it back into the router. The next step is to attach the antennas. You should have four, two 4G antennas and two cellular antennas. Go ahead and attach the Wi-Fi antennas to the ports labeled Wi-Fi. Next, attach the 4G antennas to the ports labeled cellular. Now you can attach the power cable. Insert the green block end of the cable into the router and the other end into a power outlet. Once the cable is in, the power, system, and network lights should appear. Once the lights are steady, not blinking, take the Ethernet cable provided and plug one end into your computer and the other end into a LAN slot on the router. A green and yellow light will appear above the slot once the cable is plugged in. Next, you're going to configure the PC to be in the same network as the IP address of your router. Go to the Wi-Fi section of your computer, right-click, and select Network and Internet Settings. Scroll down to Advanced Network Settings in the menu that appears. From there, scroll down again to the More Network Adapters option. Select this option, and then select the Ethernet port that you used for the router connection. Once you've selected the Ethernet option, click on Properties in the window that appears. Find the option for Internet Protocol Version 4 and double-click it. In the window that pops up, you'll see options for configuring manually and automatically. For this video, we'll use the automatic method. Select the following options. Obtain IP address automatically. Obtain DNS server address automatically. Click OK. Now go to 192.168.2.1 in your browser of choice and log into your router. For first time setup, the login will be ADM and the password is 123456. Be sure to change your password once you log in for the first time. Once you're logged in, go to Status, Network Connections, and make sure the device is connected and has an IP address. The next step is to set up the Wi-Fi. Go to Network, WLAN, select Enable. Adjust the settings for the network as needed and click Apply. Now, try connecting to the network. Select the Wi-Fi icon on your computer, Manage Wi-Fi Connections. Find the network in the list and connect to it. Once you're connected, the Wi-Fi connection should be up and running. Setting up Link Backup Hot Failover. Now we're gonna set up Hot Failover for your in-hand 305 router. The first step is to use another Ethernet cable. Plug one end of the cable into your home, office router, and the other into the WAN slot on the in-hand router. Once that's done, go to Network, WAN. Select Dynamic Address, DHCP, from the drop-down menu and click Apply. This enables the WAN port. Next, go to Status, Network Connections, and make sure that WAN and Cellular are connected. Now go to Network Link Backup. Select Enable, and then Hot Failover. Make sure that WAN is listed as the main link and Cellular is listed as the backup link. For ICMP Detection Server, type in 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 .8. Hit Apply. Go to Status, Route Table. Here, you should see the default option listed as your main link, WAN. To make sure this has been set up correctly, disconnect the WAN cable from the in-hand router while staying on this screen. You should see the default option switch to the backup link, Cellular, after a few seconds. Reconnect your WAN cable and wait a few seconds. The default option should switch back to the main link. Now you've successfully set up link backup hot failover for your router. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let us know what other videos you'd like to see in the comments below.